guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George. Today I am in Carlton in Melbourne's north and I'm about to take you around a brand new addition to a single storey Victorian terrace. Now, what the owner and architect have managed to do on this very narrow site is nothing short of spectacular. Let's go take a look. I know, right? It's impressive. There's a lot to show you down there, but first I need to start from the front. Let's take you in here. So this is one of the only original rooms of this home, okay? So they've turned this into the home office, but it can also double as another bedroom. Whilst I say it's original, they actually did a lot of work in here to basically gut it and make it beautiful again. So they fitted a new fireplace, they put in all brand new cabinetry as well. You can obviously tell it's very dark, it's very moody. It gives you a little bit of a sense of what's to come. This very tall pivot door reveals powder room. Very dark, the grey marble, beautiful mirrored cabinets and this Lovely shower curtain as well. There is a lot of height in here. It's very grand, very grand indeed. We've got hidden laundry in there. You ready? The fun bit. Welcome home. I absolutely love the feeling of this space. As soon as you walk through that door, you know you've got such a small traditional facade and to just see this amazing height of this living area, there's the most beautiful void, so much light's coming down into this living space. It's very intimate, you've got the couch wrapping around, your fireplace, your TV, all of your beautiful books on display. It just has such a lovely feel to it. Plus, more curtains here. These shears actually reveal a pivot door. So when that opens up, it allows the most beautiful amount of light into this space. And it's quite dramatic, the way that the curtains just start to move and shift. So as we come from the living area, you step up into the kitchen and dining. And I love the fact that these steps are actually lit up. You almost feel like you're in a nightclub, which, do you know what? I kind of do feel like I'm a nightclub because check out this insanely beautiful kitchen and dining. Guys, this island bench, this is not an island. This is a continent. This is a continent of marble. I absolutely love the sheer proportions of this kitchen. We've got very dark cabinetry over here. So here we've got the pantry. I love the fact that they haven't shied away from bringing the marble into the pantry as well. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. I mean, we've got spices, plenty of food. You can tell that they love to entertain. They love to cook. Oh, found some. Biscotti. Chances are, I think they're Italian. Gotta love Italian. We've got the fridge and freezer in here as well. All hidden away. Two ovens. I've been told one's for sweet, one's for savoury. And I love the fact that this island bench is so large, but not only that, the marble has continued all the way along this bench top and in that splashback, which is beautifully lit up. And it leads you all onto this insanely beautiful dining area. Mm -hmm. 
What you might have noticed is the fact that we've got this curved steel track on top. That is for our curtains. How spectacular is that? That is so incredibly dramatic and I love the fact that you can just pull these shears across and now all of a sudden we're in our own private dining room. It is very theatrical. I love how much it softens the space and do you know what? It just adds such a sense of drama. Let's go check out outside. a really good size garden area. There's a lot of edibles in here. We've got an olive tree, rosemary and lemons. There's a car spot. It's really good size, especially we are talking about carton here. So it's fantastic that they've got this space. Also, take a look at the building. You can see all of that height, which makes me really want to go upstairs. Let's check it out. Oh my god, these curtains are so much fun. I love it. And look at the size of this mirror. Oh, that is just absolutely spectacular. I love the fact that it just continues this kitchen. These stairs, these beautiful steel staircases. Let's check them out. Very raw, bent, custom built staircase, which had to be craned in. So those stairs leads us into the master bedroom. Obviously more monochromatic vibes here. Very light but very dark cabinetry as well. I've got to admit what I love most about this bedroom are these beautiful high windows. You're sitting in bed, all you can see is beautiful blue sky. Also, what I need to show you, these are totally hidden. You would never expect to find drawers underneath a window. I love that. We've got a TV here, which is actually recessed into the wall. But if we pull over this sliding door, it hides the TV to reveal the master ensuite. Oh my God, this is absolute heaven. There is this is just like the marble bathroom of my dreams. A beautiful lush bathtub and not only that, this amazing shower which has curtains as well. I love the fact that they've brought more curtains in here so you can actually close it all off and have a lot of fun. It's very playful, it's very tactile and I love that it brings a beautiful soft natural element to this bathroom. Through here, the toilet's hidden away, beautiful pivot door, the mirror, the windows, there's so much height, it just, there's so much sense of space, it feels so incredibly grand. We've got another bathroom through here. The marble, again, has been repeated, that beautiful grey marble, mirrored cabinets and that amazing pop of light. We're getting a lot of light coming through from those skylights and little light wells up the top. It just feels really just opulent. We've got another bedroom through there, but I actually want to show you down here. This is the landing. So this actually is the light well that's punching all of that beautiful light down into that living area. So this is actually a really lovely space. You've got a reading area here, which you can sit and read your book. And also, it looks onto this very precious 
chest, which actually holds a lot of sentimental value to the owner and had a lot actually to do with the design and the color palette of this home, but I'll get to that later. There's more, we need to go up. Your very own rooftop terrace. This guys, this is something else. This is very special. And not many people get to experience Melbourne like this. In you pop. Okay, so I may or may not have noticed a very well stocked wine fridge downstairs. So let's go check that out, shall we? I love the sound of these steel staircases and I love the fact that they've got the original markings as well. What do you reckon? Pinot? Let's find these glasses, shall we? No, not the glasses, but I found the cocktail cabinet. <laughs> Go sit on the couch. So this is an addition to a single story Victorian and this project actually was a long time in the making. The owner worked very heavily with the architect Robert Simeone and it took about four years of planning. So it was a massive undertaking. The original facade is obviously heritage listed and that has stayed the same. So it has that beautiful Victorian terrace facade at the front, which is actually what the owner loved most about this home and loves most about Carlton in itself. There is so much character in all of the buildings in this area. And so it was very important to her that she maintain that facade. So the only original features of this home is the facade, the front room and the entry. Apart from that, everything else has been a new addition. The front room, they've actually converted into a home office and they actually had to do a lot of work to bring that room back into a really good original condition. So they've actually brought in some beautiful features with the fireplace and also with the cornices, the architraves, they've really paid attention to try and bring some of that heritage back in but also do it in a modern way. The cabinetry as well starts to set the tone for what you're about to see in the rest of the home because you start to see some of those beautiful dark features but it's the rest of the home that entry that leads you into that amazing ground floor area which is all open plan that is something truly spectacular and I think what they've done amazingly here because it is all essentially one large space they've actually created these beautiful zones so every room is sectioned and has its own sense of space. So I'm in the living room right now and it's actually on a lower level to the rest of the kitchen and dining. And it has its own borders, the couch, the windows, the curtains. It makes you feel really connected and it feels really homely. And it also has this amazing sense of height and light because I'm sitting underneath this insanely beautiful light void. All of this amazing light is coming through from that top level and it just enhances the sense of space. And it also helps to soften a lot of the dark features that are going on in this home through both the cabinetry and the floor. The other thing that softens this home is definitely the use of textiles, especially through those curtains. The curtains are found throughout this home. After chatting with the owner, I can really see that every little detail has been thought about and the curtains especially, you know, they're not just there to be there. They're positioned in front of a pivot door so that when the air comes in, they blow in the most beautiful fashion and kind of create a sense of drama and whimsy. And I love the fact that that is literally why they are there. They're to add that extra ambience and that extra theater to the home, which is something really quite special. The curtains obviously in the 
dining area are just genius, to be honest with you. I mean, I love the fact that the owner was conscious that it was an open plan dining and kitchen, but she really kind of wanted a bit more intimacy to her dining room. And so together with the architect, they spoke about creating a way where they could section that off. But it's such a lovely soft sectioning that it doesn't completely tear you away from the rest of the home, but it does invite more intimacy. It does create a sense of privacy. And I can only imagine that at night, you know, when the light's gone down, you know, maybe some candles on the table, it really would be such a special space. They've also continued the curtains as a feature in the bathrooms and I love the fact that there's curtains in that upstairs master ensuite. They don't even need to be there but the owner just loved them. The, again it's all about the theatre, it's all about the play and it's about being able to interact with your surroundings and your home and that is what I really love about this space because you can tell that the owners really do love their home and they love life and they love to experience life to its fullest and you really do get a sense for that. The kitchen is drop dead sexy. Honestly, I can't think of another word to describe that kitchen. It is so incredibly sexy. It's very Italian. There is so much marble there. Is there too much marble? Apparently for Italians, you can never have enough. <laughs> and I absolutely love that. It is so generous in its proportions. The marble's on the island bench. It's on the bench top that wraps the entire length of the kitchen. It's on the splashback. It's in the walk-in pantry. It's also throughout the bathrooms as well. But I love that consistency and I love the fact that they've kept a very neutral color palette throughout. It's very dark and there's lots of that gray marble. There's lots of dark cabinetry. There's lots of dark floors. But to soften that, they have brought in a lot of light materials as well. There's white walls, there's lots of soft textiles, and especially with the curtains. Also as well, the lighting, very important to soften those dark features. The lighting is spectacular throughout this entire home. The way that they've lit the staircases, you know, the way that they've lit up the marble and the splashback, there's so many different light features that really do amplify the space without being too directive, you know, and they're very moody and ambient. And to be honest with you, that was a massive consideration for the owner and the architect to get the lighting just right. And I think those are the things that sometimes can be a bit of an oversight. At the end of the day, they can end up turning something great into exceptional. So when it comes to the color palette of this home, it's very neutral. There's a lot of dark, there's a lot of light, but you'll notice there's a lot of green. There's a few different shades of green that are carried throughout the house and you can see it in certain pieces like the ottoman in front of me, but also vases, small trinkets, coffee tables. Oh, not to mention the fancy pizza tray. <laughs> but that color theme of that green and those dark tones actually was inspired by the chest, which I showed you upstairs on the landing. Now that chest actually belonged to the owner's grandfather and he brought it all the way over with him from Italy when he moved to Australia. It was his only possession. It has his address written on the top so he remembered to know where to go and I just love the fact that the owner has kept that and used that incredibly sentimental beautiful object to inspire the design and colour palette for the rest of the home. The master bedroom is very smart especially on space and I love the way that they've integrated those cabinetry, especially the cabinetry under the window, I didn't even realise that was there because you just inherently don't expect there to be storage underneath the window. They've also been really smart with the heating. They've got hydronic heating in which they've actually recessed it into the floor and made a bit of a feature out of it. So instead of taking up a whole wall, it's actually in the floor, which has left them more room for storage. Plus there's that recessed TV, which sits very nicely in the wall, which is then concealed when you open up to reveal the master ensuite, which is just absolutely absolutely dead set sexy. All of that marble, all of that mirror, windows, just so much beauty up there and a very special area for the owners to enjoy. But I must admit, what I like most about this home is that the sexy isn't saved for certain areas of the home. I've got to admit, every room is special. Every powder room, every bathroom, it all has that grand sense of opulence. And then to top it all off, that rooftop terrace. I mean, not every day you get to experience that. There's 360 views of Melbourne. You are so close to the city. You look onto the beautiful college and uni gardens. You look over the top of amazing terrace houses. One of the most impressive parts of this home. And I just can only imagine sitting up there with a bottle of bubbles and just watching the sunset. It would just be something else. Because the owner was so involved with the architect throughout this entire process of the build, 
It means that a lot of the decor has really been considered alongside the structure of the home. So it kind of goes hand in hand. It definitely wasn't an afterthought. And with that, it means that there's just this beautiful sense of flow. Everything's very cohesive. It's very minimal and pulled back. Honestly, what I really like most is how many books are in this home. I love seeing so many books on display. And uh, I've been told the owners, especially the owner's partner, Chloe, loves to read books. She reads for half an hour every morning, probably churns through about 50 books a year. And those books, they almost serve as artwork because they bring color, they bring personality to the space, and they also show off a lot about their personality as well. The design and the interiors of this home really do come down to the background of the owner, and given her Italian heritage, you know, it truly is a home that is unashamedly bold. You know, there's so much marble, there's so much grand, bold material that have been used and it's set up for entertaining and that's the Italian way you know it's all about enjoying life it's all about enjoying life with others and sharing that and that is what this home is all about so whilst this home honors its heritage frontage it is nothing but modern and dead set sexy on the inside cheers Hey guys, thanks for watching. I would love to know what you thought of this home. Leave me a comment below and like and subscribe because we've got plenty more home tours coming your way. Cheers. It's a bit bolder. Yeah, and I mean, I'm still true to my heritage. I concrete in half the backyard. So. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I tried to make it look nice, but Oh my god, I love it. True to my heritage. Chuck some concrete down there. Well, it's still mortified that we have a concrete backyard. <laughs>